which of the following relations is not a function? Now, the key idea here about functions is that functions must pass a vertical line test. So if you have some random function, you must, when you draw a vertical line, only pass at most once. So this here is a function because no matter what kind of red line I drop down, we pass the vertical line test. So for any given x value, there must be only one possible y value. For any given input of x, there must be only one output of y. So when we look at these choices here, we see an input of 7 here. And the 7, if this was x equals 7, then the output here would be 2 and 9. So there's two different y values. So this here would be 2. And up here, 9, there would be another kind of y value here. So essentially, we're getting something like this. If this was a 2 and this was a 9, there'd be like a circle here. And if this was 0.7, x equals 7, and this was 2, and this here would be uh, 9, you can see if we drop a nice vertical line, it's failing this vertical line test. It's because we're hitting twice, once here and once here. So this here is not a function. This here is not a function, so we circle choice A. Now, the thing about this is that even though this is not called a function, it's still a relation. A relation is more forgiving. You can draw anything and it would be called a relation, a relationship between variable y and x. Now, the function is more restrictive. It must pass the vertical line test. Now, take a look at choice D. We have many different x values all going to one y values. Is this still a function? It is. I'll give you an example of where you can have many different x values going to the same y value. So imagine the curve sine of x, and this is going this way. So this here is a function. y is equals to sine of x. So this is like a sine wave. It's like a nice curve. And we know that it passes the vertical line test. Whether I draw it here, whether I draw it here, or here, this here indeed is a function. However, when we think about the actual particular y value, if I were to choose like 0.5 or, or something, you can see that there's many different x places positions where we're actually hitting that certain y value. So this is an example of choice D, where we're, we have many different x values satisfying a certain y value. So this here is a function because we pass the vertical line test.